Assignment rules are a great way to automate how incoming cases are assigned out to specific agents. To get started, let's navigate to the Setup menu by clicking the large gear icon and then clicking on Service Setup. In our quick find, we'll search for Case Assignment Rules and then click on Case Assignment Rules. To add our new rule, we'll click the New button. Let's give our rule a name and then click on Active. An important note before we move on is that you can only have one case assignment rule active at the same time. You can have many criteria in one existing rule, but no more than one rule can be checked as active, so this is something to remember as a side note. Let's go ahead and save our rule. Now that we've added our rule, it's time to build out our criteria to decide when we want the rule to run. You can open the rule by clicking on the name of the assignment rule. In the Rule Entry section, we'll click New to add a new entry to our rule. For each rule entry, you can set a number of details related to your entry. For instance, you can determine the order in which you want the entry to be processed. You can set criteria for when you want the case to be assigned and you can specify a user or queue that you want to assign the case to if the conditions are met. In this rule, we'll set the sort order as 1. For step 2, we'll select case origin equals and then select web. For step 3, we want these cases to be signed to our administrator. We won't select an email template for this rule, but you have the option to add this if you would like. Step 4 is optional and available to you to use if you need to add predefined case teams to a case that has been assigned. We won't add this for now, so let's go ahead and save our rule. Now that your rule entry has been saved, you've successfully created a rule with one rule entry that will actively trigger on all incoming cases where the rule entry condition is met. This will be automated as long as your rule is set to active.